Hello, I'm Andrew. Today we're going to be exploring a very versatile AI image enhancement and generation tool that I've been using for a few years. And it's evolved significantly and they've added a lot of new features that are very useful for businesses and personal projects. So I'll give you an overview of the features and then I'll show you some hands-on demonstrations. Initially this tool started as an image upscaler and it used basic AI techniques to take the resolution of an image and make it better. But now it offers a wide range of features and a lot of these features, if you're a business, can be um, adapted to an API. So it offers image upscaling, which that's enhancing the resolution. It uses AI to do it. It can also remove the background of images, isolating a specific object, or can sharpen the image. It also has uh, AI and um, supported license plate blurring. So if you have a lot of uh, video footage that happens to capture license plates, it can detect and blur those license plates. Um, then you have product placement feature, which is very interesting. So you have your product and it will automatically generate and integrate the product into various backgrounds. And then of course there is AI driven image generation, which you may be familiar with other um, AI image generators. This one's very unique in a few ways. So I'll give you a demonstration of that. So here I put in this image, it's a bit blurry and I wanted to just improve its print quality. So when I go to print, it looks good. And that's one of the features that I used the most. If I had a low res image that I wanted to improve, now they've added this uh, magic AI feature that lets you dial up how much creativity and how much you want it to remain the same. And by doing that, it can really affect the image. It gives you a little text window to give some specifics to the AI to help it understand what you're looking at, what the image is, and a little bit of what you want it to lean toward. It's a very interesting tool and it's very cool. Now, as far as pricing goes, uh, it uses a credit-based system, kind of on the personal use. I haven't used it as a business, uh, so there are different uh, plans as a business. But right now, I'm using the $9 a month plan, which includes 100 credits, and it rolls over month to month up to 600 credits. You To start, you can just get 10 free credits. And so if you don't want to waste it, watch the whole video. I have a very in-depth uh, step-by-step. It's much longer than this video, but it really covers a lot of the subtleties of this tool. Just for fun, I decided to take some old low-res video game stills that are very well known for just being bad. We've got a couple Elder Scrolls. This one here, people often joke about how it just looks like a... Uh, Comic-Con cosplayer, <laughs> which I could definitely see. But check out how different it looks. This is with the full creativity and resemblance turned to zero. So 100% creativity, resemblance zero. Then there was a link from Ocarina of Time. It definitely gave it some improvement. Then we have this Hagrid, which is a meme and uh, it really it made it a photo real image and it looks amazing uh, just just by giving it so you're kind of giving it a draft and saying hey this is what i want you to work with why don't you improve it and finally on the video game spectrum we have laura croft from the 19 i think this is 1996 tomb raider and you can see it really made a drastic improvement so you can tell where the future of AI and the possibilities are going, but if you have any images that just don't look great, or maybe you're not the best artist, but you want the general idea, create the image yourself, send it to Let's Enhance with the full creativity, and then generate it. And the generations, I will say, they take between a minute. Sometimes they'll they'll take up to 10 minutes, depending on how intense uh, work needs to be done, but also 
um, how much of a load there is on the servers. All right, here is where the fun is. And you have uh, you can do unlimited image generations in the history here. Once you want to, um, I'll show you right here. So if I wanted this, if I wanted this image, right now it's got a watermark. It will cost me one credit. I can upscale it also. So let's go ahead and I've been messing around with 8-bit images. <laughs> so if we wanted to say... Um, image of a police officer. We can go ahead and generate that. It's pretty quick. It gives you four options at a time once you generate the image. So that's just by saying I want an 8-bit image of an officer. Um, and then you can say, okay, I want that one, or I don't want that one. Or you could just say generate. None of this is costing you anything. There's no credits. So this is what's really cool about uh, Let's Enhance versus the other image generators that charge you uh, credit per generation where you don't want to use uh, what they provided. And then I'll show you some of the, now, <laughs> every once in a while it creates a um, not safe for work, and it just blocks it. Um, so it has filters in place to where if it generates something, because this is AI, um, now let's, let's say I want this. I'll just click get the image, but I don't want to upscale it. I can if I want, but I don't want to. And then I have the image available for download. It asks, how's the result? You can share it. Uh, you can upscale it. You can download it or delete it. Now, if we go here, now I just want to show you this. So we want a police officer. Then we have these options here. And this is where it's also cool compared to other image generators. So if we say we want a photo of a police officer, we want it to look like it's in the street. We want it, it black and white, or we could say um, high key, but let's go black and white. And we want hard lighting. We want this to look very uh, dramatic. And we are going to go with a um, telephoto. So it's kind of from a distance. And... Uh, well, let's do a medium shot with high saturation. And then here you have the mood. And this is fun as well. So you could say depressing, lonely, happy, cozy, peaceful, hopeful. Let's go hopeful. Um, in post-apocalyptic, we're just going all kinds of crazy. Cool colors, temperature. And then you pick the artist style that you want. You don't have to. Let's say Ansel Adams took this picture. Let's go ahead and see what happens. And again, you don't have to pay for any of these until you agree that you want a specific image. So you could like all four. And then, so here we have the different police officers. Ansel Adams style. Now, we didn't give any context whatsoever. But if we change it, so let's say we want an Ann Leibovitz, we want warm colors. We want it to feel a uh, 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 vapor wave. Let's go retro. Uh, we want it to romanticize. We're going to keep the saturation high. Um, I'm going to give it a blurry background. Sun, uh, sun rays, color photo, street, and there we go. We're going to go, and then we click generate. So as you can see, it walks you through all of these um, options, but you don't have to use any of them. And I will show you one of the cool things that you can do to combine um, AIs different AIs to really get some amazing images. Okay, so here we go. This is more of a retro style. It's got some hope hope in it, the coloration. 
Um, but again, this is just kind of portraits. You can see sometimes it does look uh, obviously AI, and some don't. This one looks pretty good. I've used this for a number of YouTube thumbnails, uh, different assets for different videos. Now, I saved a text note here. This is a prompt I had generated by ChatGPT, which does have um, image generation options, but it limits you, if you haven't noticed. And the paid version, it will limit you after so many. So let's go ahead and generate this prompt that I had generated by. I said, I told ChatGPT, give me an image prompt for an image generator that is 120 words long that will give me an oil painting with um, uh, distinct brush strokes. And that's, this is what it generated. And we'll compare the two. But I want to show that this AI is actually very capable if you know how to talk to it well. If you don't, you're not going to get. Okay, so here's, that's pretty good. I don't know what it, <laughs> I don't know what it generated there. Uh, but again, you can just click it again. And you can go from here and click more image type. Um, settings in addition to these uh the prompt that we pasted in here but that in a nutshell is what you're looking at with let's enhance.io there's kind of a business side uh, business to business but also a uh, individual user side where you can do image and graphic enhancements so thanks for taking a look i'm going to be doing more ai based videos on all kinds of ai image generation, but also AI technical aspects and very specific business areas. So if you want videos like this, if you're curious about how AI can help your life or things that you need to be warned about with AI, then please uh, consider subscribing to this channel. Let me know if you have any thoughts on these videos, any questions or any future ideas for videos. I'll be glad to take a look and see what I can do. Thanks for watching and have an excellent time.